Janelle draws one card from a standard deck of 52 cards. Determine the probability of drawing either a queen or a king, then determine the probability of drawing either a 10 or a club. In this video, we will determine the probabilities using the appropriate formula below based upon whether the events are mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. So in the first example, we're asked to find the probability of drawing either a queen or a king. Let's indicate this as the probability of Q for queen or K for king. Because it's not possible for a card to be both a queen and a king at the same time, the events of selecting a queen and selecting a king are called mutually exclusive. Where again, two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint if they cannot occur at the same time, when this is the case, we can find the probability of A or B by determining the sum of the probability of A and the probability of B. So again, because a card cannot be both a queen and a king at the same time, the probability of a queen or a king is equal to the probability of a queen plus the probability of a king. So because we have 52 total cards, four of which are queens, the probability of selecting a queen is equal to four out of 52, or four 50 seconds. Plus the probability of a king, and since there are four kings, there are four favorable outcomes. Out of a total of 52 outcomes, the probability of selecting a king is also four 50 seconds. Adding, we get eight 50 seconds which is a fraction that can be simplified. The greatest common factor between eight and 52 is four. We divide both by four to simplify, which gives us a simplified probability of 2 thirteenths. And let's also show the decimal in percent. 2 thirteenths to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.1538. Which is equal to 15.38%. And just to make sure this makes sense, when determining the probability of selecting a queen or a king, either a queen or a king is a favorable outcome. And there are eight cards in the deck that are queens or kings, four queens and four kings. So we do have a total of eight favorable outcomes out of a total of 52 outcomes, which is shown here in the probability, which does simplify to 2 thirteenths. And now let's determine the probability of drawing either a 10 or a club. Let's indicate this by the probability of a 10 or a club. In this case, because a card can be both a club and a 10 at the same time, the events of drawing a 10 and drawing a club are not mutually exclusive. So going back to our notes just for a moment, two events are not mutually exclusive if they can both occur at the same time. When events are not mutually exclusive, the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So going back to our example, because a card can be both a 10 and a club, the probability of a 10 or a club is equal to the probability of a 10 plus the probability of a club minus the probability of a 10 and a club. And that's determine these probabilities. For the probability of selecting a 10, since there are four 10s in the deck, there are four favorable outcomes out of a total of 52 cards. The probability of selecting a 10 is 4 50 seconds, plus the probability of a club. Well, there are 13 clubs in the deck, and therefore there are 13 favorable outcomes out of a total of 52 outcomes, so we have plus 13 50 seconds, and then minus the probability of a 10 and a club. There's only one card that's a 10 and a club, which is the 10 of clubs. So we have one favorable outcome out of a total of 52 outcomes. So we have minus one 50 second. Let's just stop here for a second and see why we have to subtract this probability here. When determining the probability of a 10, we had four favorable outcomes, these outcomes here. 
And then when determining the probability of a club, we have these 13 favorable outcomes. But notice how by adding these favorable outcomes, we counted the 10 of clubs twice, and we only should count it once, which is why we have to subtract the probability of a 10 and a club. And again, that's because the two events are not mutually exclusive, because it is possible for a car to be both a 10 and a club. The common denominator here is 52, and the numerator is 4 plus 13 minus 1, which is 16. And going back to the cards one more time, we have a total of 13, 14, 15, 16 favorable outcomes to have a card that is a 10 or a club, which is why this probability is correct. To simplify, we divide both by 4, which gives us 4 thirteenths, and let's go ahead and find the decimal in percent. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.3077. which is 30.77%. I hope you found this helpful.